We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. March is here and the weather is perfect, although a little windy at times, and it begins with a trip to Cozumel. We were hoping to go on journey, but that windy weather did not cooperate. Landon and Robin, Dee and I, and Karen set off. Matt was unable to join us on this trip. We left Playa del Carmen on the ferry and crossed over to Cozumel to discover more of this island that Dee and I had barely explored. The first order of business was learning about cantinas. These are local joints where if you are drinking the beer, which is very cheap, then the food will just keep appearing at your table. It is tapas style, but you get to try some unique, authentic, and different things. Next, we set out to drive the island and find some bars on the dark side where there is limited electricity. Our favorite stop was this little dive bar called Bar of Miami, where they make the best mojitos. Check out the scenery and this production. We made our way back around to grab a drink at the Thirsty Cougar along the main drag to watch the sunset. Sunsets on the east coast of Mexico are difficult, but easy while on Isla of Cozumel. We stayed at this little boutique hotel, Casa Deja Vu, which is owned by a man from Texas with his Mexican wife. She has a little cafe on the corner. It's a great spot. The Jeep was a little crowded a few times as Landon and Robin met some friends on a cruise while we visited. But that's all part of the fun. What was not part of the fun was that the winds would be so bad the ferry docks closed and we had to stay another night. We all endured and survived, and after breakfast, we made it back to the ferry dock and run it with running ferries the next morning. Just one little extra unplanned night, but that made an adventure to remember. After catching some blackfin tuna, our friend Danny decided to try his hand at sushi, and the crew was invited to partake. All I can say is it was so yummy, and he did an awesome job. I'll need to take some lessons from him. Now my duties call as I head to Virginia to dog sit Harley while Jessie goes on an adventure of her own to the Bahamas to participate with a research team from Saving the Blue. While I was in Virginia, Dee stayed back in Mexico and celebrated Robin's birthday, which looked to be a good time and a good crowd. While I took this time to watch Harley, I drove down to North Carolina to see Lilia, who was getting so big. I really loved having these days with her and watching all she's learning and exploring in the world. I realize how much we are missing. Once Jessie returns, we have a few days together, and it's March, and the cherry blossoms are blooming in the cold, frigid weather. But we endured to take a walk and enjoy the views. This same weekend, the crew in Mexico was preparing for Danny and Sandra's wedding, our Swedish friends who moved to Mexico. Danny arrived ahead of her and was able to secure his residency, and to make it easier for Sandra, the recommendation was to get married again. Our crew loves a reason to celebrate. I am finally back in Mexico, and Matt and Karen have a big crew arriving from North Carolina. They spend one evening in Puerto Aventuras off their resort to celebrate a few birthdays and include us in their fun.
sadly, March comes to a close with a fellow cruiser we met at the same time we arrived in Mexico. Andrew and his wife on two moons. They are from Canada. This day, they have been out for a cruise with their son, daughter-in-law, and grandkids when Andrew ended up on the reef. Two nights passed, but the Mexican crew finally were able to pull him out and get him safely to the dock. Living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment.